think speech is such a great community. Um, I've gotten really close to all the people on the team, and I think it's really unique that although you're uh, performing individually, you still have that team atmosphere, which I think is really unique. I learned a lot. Um, I think I got a lot of confidence, um, and I think I learned to be a, what it means to be a good team member, what it means to be um, a leader. Just like being at tournaments, I think that, that the energy at tournaments is really just like everybody's ready, everybody's like so competitive, everything is it's, it's just, it's really, it's a nice environment. I, I really like the environment at tournaments. I think that's the one thing I'm also going to miss because I just love how friendly everybody is with each other and getting to hear everybody's stories is really rewarding. Yeah, um, I'm going to miss tournaments because like since I'm a senior, like I don't get to do it again. Um, but I just liked hanging out with the team because I got to like meet people that I probably wouldn't have talked to otherwise. So that was really fun. Like I got to talk to you. Me, yep. <laughs> She's okay, I guess. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like being with the team was probably my favorite. Speech is a high school league activity. It's an extracurricular activity. There are 13 categories in speech. Uh, they offer something for everyone. There are categories which are called interp or interpretive categories in which it's more kind of acting. There are other categories called PA, categories where students write their own speeches and then perform them. So again, there's a little something for everyone. It is a competitive activity. Students gain confidence and gain um, knowledge of their subject, knowledge of their type of speech, but also an enormous amount besides. The BSM speech team is uh, a state recognized activity that focuses on um, communication comprised of 13 different categories where students either memorize a piece or write their own piece and then perform it over a series of months of our season um, in front of their peers, judges, and any audience member who's there. I would use the words committed, exceptional, talented, competitive, professional. I mean, and then I could keep on using words that were variations of those things because, uh, well, and caring. Say they are creative, funny, thoughtful, smart, um, tenacious. Um, they are family. Team. Our speech team is energetic. Our speech team is also very uh, united. I always think of them as a speech family more than a team. Committed to their own individuality uh, as me individual members of the team, but together create this really wonderful kind of family dynamic of the team. That it isn't just a bunch of individuals competing for themselves, but that we are a team that support each other. And then a team that even is caring to our competitors. really root for one another. They support one another really well. Um, they're dedicated to their craft. They work really hard. Their commitment to their practices and their pieces and then their commitment to each other. Because while speech is an individual kind of competition, um, the team really kind of lifts each other up um, during uh, the tournament season, which can get very long. Uh, regarding practices, our team members are required to do an hour of practice every week per category that they're in. And we have some people who do two or three categories. So if you think about um, the dedication of an hour of practice with a coach and then the work that you put in on your own at home, either um, practicing your characters or your memorization or um, rewriting and editing or working on your visual aids, whatever it might be, um, kids do dedicate a lot of time each week to perfecting their piece for the tournaments. There's a lot that goes into preparing for the tournaments from the beginning of the season. We start really early. Um, I always thought that picking a topic or a piece was really hard. Um, 
So you have to take in what's going to be interesting to you, what you can maintain over a really long season, what uh, you can find information to write about, um, and what's going to do well, obviously. Um, so that I always thought was pretty hard. And then the writing process um, and the organizing the research and then memorizing. I always thought that memorizing um, is my least favorite part of the speech season just because it's kind of a grueling process and kind of the preparing week to week just figure out what needs to be improved, re-memorizing, um, and that kind of cycle happens each week. So you look at your critiques and then you decide what edits you're going to make, what edits you have time to make, and then re-memorizing. So that's kind of the uh, cycle and then practicing at home, um, try to practice a few times a week and then obviously the night before the tournament um, and then if I had to do some rememorizing then there would be more uh, practicing in there with that. usually really tired. Uh, they're early days, um, so I always start uh, pretty tired, but uh, I get some coffee and then the excitement starts to kick in. Um, and then I think it differs on tournament, uh, based on different tournaments. Uh, obviously regular season wasn't quite as stressful as uh, sections or state, but um, I think I try to stay pretty calm. Uh, and not psych myself out too much um, and just kind of give it the best I can. Uh, my first goal is always just to get through my speech without forgetting it um, and that's always considered a success for me when I can do that. Uh, so I try to keep a pretty level head during tournaments. I would get really nervous. Um, like before warm-ups I would like kind of get shaky but then like once we would all do warm-ups like together and then it was like oh like we're all in this like even though it's just you doing your piece, it's like there's like the whole like camaraderie of it kind of. Um, so that would always kind of calm me down. And then like you go practice, and then like you're like, oh yeah, I got this, and then you just kind of do it. Okay, so whenever we get to a tournament, the first thing I always try to do is hit a wall. So usually in the bus, I just like plug in my headphones and I just try to try to like feel everything because I, I that's my moment of just like coming into my piece and then once I get to the tournament I always practice but it's, it's really nerve-wracking all the time because you always know that like somebody's gonna, going to be sharing their story with you and you're, you're going to be sharing your story with somebody else and it's, it's really nerve-wracking. So. I think what I'm most proud of this season is the effort of the speech team to pull off two amazing feats. Um, the first is that our team won the conference award. Uh, we're in very in a conference with very very competitive teams, and the conference award is based on the efforts of the team throughout the season and the winners throughout the season. So it really is a group effort. So for us to win the conference title is unbelievable. And secondly, when you hold BSM up against the big competitors, and we're talking nationally um, award-winning teams and little BSM comes along and we are a much, much, much smaller school than the vast majority of the schools that we compete against. So for us to get people to state and for us to pull off a state champion with Sophie Herman this year in Great Speeches is unbelievable. Um, and to hold our head high and the name of our school high with nationally uh, recognized teams is phenomenal. We also have four students that qualified to go to the national competition this year in Washington DC, which again is phenomenal. And then for Henry Bird to advance to qualify in the national tournament um, this year in Fort Lauderdale in Florida is unbelievable. So it's been a tremendously successful year on so many fronts, um, from having started with a very, very young team uh, to pull off um, an, a title in pretty much all the areas that we look to is amazing. So I am so, so proud of our team this year. And it's been a really, really fun season.
think the year was really successful. We had some great successes every tournament that the kids went to. Um, and so I think it was a, like, I'd give the year two thumbs up for sure.